Hey. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And together we're our time of the month. And today we're going to be sharing, I don't know, part five, six, seven, what is it at this point? Uh, 1017. Of our Amazon favorites. So we each have six items we're gonna show you today and uh, maybe you'll get a little inspiration. And if you would like to see our other videos that we filmed about this, they'll be linked in the description box. I'm gonna start off with the thing I'm most excited about. A little backstory for this. Oh. Caitlin and I are really big fans of the Lancome Advanced Genifique oh. Serum. And it's because it has- Bifidus. It, it has Bifidus, which is a pre or probiotic. I don't quite remember, forgive me. It is a fantastic serum. We've been using it consistently for years. I love what it does for my skin and it just feels really nice and lightweight. The only drawback is that it's upwards of $125 or something like it's that. It's $3 signs. It's $3 signs and that is just silly. <laughs> Especially if I can find something that has the same ingredient, the same active ingredient for a lesser price. So we got a few recommendations and I got one specifically for Isentree Bifida Ampule. And the main ingredient is the Bifida Ferma Ferment Lysate and Triple Peptides to firm up your skin. And this is a Korean skincare item. I found it on a couple of websites that I didn't quite trust. And I didn't want to take the risk of like putting my credit card information on that website. Uh -huh. So I found it on Amazon and it was $28.99. And I have been using it and this alone, like I phased out my Lancome, my Lancome for two or three weeks now. And I really like it. I really like it. In this, I'm learning this at the same time as you. Well, maybe not the, well, I mean, in theory, kind of. This is the only skincare product that I've ever used that I swear, hand to God, it does not have any fragrance. There's no scent. It's not like- It's just like water? It's just like water. Okay, so it has- It's a little thinner and clear, whereas yeah. the Lancome is a little bit more milky. Milky. But smell it. No, there's nothing. There's nothing. And I was like, this is hokey pokey. I'm just gonna be putting thick water on my face. I think it's actually would be lovely underneath your thick stuff that's gonna then lock it in for the night. And that's how I that's how I apply it. So I wash my face, I'll tone if that's what I'm doing that night, and then I'll go in with the serum and then lock it all in with a moisturizer and maybe even an oil sometimes. Mm. And I haven't had any weird reactions. I feel like my skin looks good and I'm thrilled that it is the price that it is. Yeah. So thank you to the person who recommended it. If you are using something like the Lancome or even the Estee Lauder Overnight Recovery Serum, those both have those probiotics in them and they're over $100 and it's just insane. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so I'm very thrilled with that. So um, I'm a cheap bitch and I refuse to buy AirPods. I also don't like the way that AirPods, at least the traditional ones, newer ones are different, but mm -hmm. the traditional ones, they're the hard plastic, they don't fit in my ear holes. Yeah. And I just feel like I can't, I don't want to like work out in them or run in them because they could fall out. Um, and they're also just so expensive that if you lose one, you're screwed. Like you're screwed. You just have to go buy another one. So I went on Amazon and I got these ones called Boltune. Bol mm -hmm. Boltune? Boltune. Boltoon. They're just in this little black case like and they are super snug. I think they look a little bit more like a Bose yeah, they headphone do. when they're in your ear. Not that I, I just don't care. Like they're just a black headphone to me and I've just been really impressed with how well they work. They come with multiple size of these little silicone ear pluggy things. Um, I found that the sound quality is really great connecting them to my computer or my cell phone. Um, is really really easy. Nice. I think the only thing that I dislike is that I have a hard time if I'm in the room with my computer and my phone and I'm trying to connect to one if I haven't like fully disconnected from the yeah. other I have a hard time so I and like you can't do anything on the headphones to fix that so you have to like go on. Okay. But that's it like I, other than that they seem to stay ch I don't know if I've ever I don't think they've ever actually died on me uh -huh. they do have a little bit of an issue connecting to my works phone app but if you oh. aren't going through a third-party app for phone calls that shouldn't be a problem if it's an actual like phone to phone call I see it's fine yeah love it I really like the case um, it you know plugs right into your computer with a little USB mm -hmm. um, or really any like Apple brick is yeah that what they're called I think so uh yeah they and I think they were I bought a really cheap pair first that were garbage I think these were maybe like 
35 dollars it's not bad at all it's not bad so and i thought like whatever it's 35 dollars i'll try them if i don't like them send them back because it's amazon right um and then i didn't nice yeah this next item is something that I think could be really crucial for a lot of folks who are working from home right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, mm -hmm. but I do not use a mouse. I use the trackpad. Even when I was in the office and I was using my desktop screen, mm -hmm. I still preferred to use a trackpad. Hmm. What do you do? So I was using my, the Apple trackpad for a while with my like iMac. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, the only reason I switched was because occasionally when people would come over my computer and want to do something, they'd be like, I don't know what to do with this. And they couldn't do it. And I just always found it really annoying. So I switched to a mouse. So my husband is an engineer and his job requires more clicking than I've ever heard in my entire life. Yes. And he's really quick with it. And it made constant noise. And even if I were on a different floor from him, I could hear the clicking of the mouse. And oh, so this isn't for you. Correct. But it's life changing. I think it's, it saved my marriage. I thought it was gonna be life changing for you. It is. It is. But I thought it was like, okay, I see now. And so I was like, Hey honey, do you need to use a mouse? And he was like, absolutely. That is how I do all my design work. And I was like, there has to be someone out there that makes a silent mouse. I have never thought about this. Well, when you spend 24 mm -hmm. seven in the house with someone, I mean, who's just constantly irritating, not intentionally, right? Like, I'm not mad at Mike, but the noise. So really when you're so in the house, offended by noises. when you're in the house and you're constantly irritated, it's right. not that he's constantly irritating. It's Correct. that you're constantly irritated. And he was like, yeah, I don't know if that's a thing. And I was like, I will find one. I will make one. I will find one. And I if it doesn't exist, I want to like back this product. I was about to say that would have been a really great quarantine million dollar idea. So I found a silent wireless Bluetooth mouse on Amazon. And this is me clicking it. There's a, but I bet you if I was in the kitchen, I wouldn't be able to hear it. It's silent. Mm -hmm. It's silent. I love it so much. Mike says it works really great. He's not missed his other mouse at all. In fact, he was using a wired mouse that had to plug into his laptop. So I think I really just changed his life here. And I don't know what the name of it is, but I will leave a link below and I'll probably put it on the screen. But he really loves it. He says it's everything he needs and it's really lightweight and also um, mm. like a soft matte cover. So it's really comfortable and smooth on your fingers. Yeah, and I think the size would be good for it, like even if you have like a large mic size hand or yeah. a my size hand. Yeah, same. Um, so if you are also struggling or maybe you don't even like the noise of your own mouse, that exists and I feel like this time more than ever is really important to just make your at home work setup as comfortable as possible. Yeah. Not only for you, but for everyone that's in your home. <laughs> you know, quarantine does weird things to you. I just feel like little oh. things that you would never consider. Like I've lived my whole life with without with either not listening to music in the shower or just like turning my phone on. Same. On the on the, on sink. the toilet. <laughs> on the yeah, mine's on the sink. And you know, even when do you remember when like it was a thing? Like they were in like Adelia's catalog. Oh, for sure. Or like Urban Outfitters. You were like not cool if you didn't have a shower speaker. Right. And I uh, but I just never thought it was necessary. But for some reason, I just thought, fuck it. I want to be able to control the music, specifically the volume, and skip songs while I'm in the shower. <laughs> and it looks like you can have a phone call on this. You can receive a phone call. So, I mean, I haven't tried, but Let's yes, do I it. do appear. It does appear that this can accept a phone call. Uh, so this is the SoundBot shower speaker. It has a, just a little big, it's a big suction cup on the back, mm -hmm. five soft touch buttons, but they, I think some of them do double things. So mm -hmm. you have full control. And then it just is a little uh, DC plug mm -hmm. charger. You do not have to charge it very frequently, which I like. I think I can use it like six times or more, probably mm -hmm. 10 times before I have to charge it. So, you know, that's, that's like three months. That's like <laughs> months of showers for me. And I even have like a shower, a built in shower seat in my shower. Yeah. So I just sh set it over there because I, it does stick well, but I just feel like it's more reliable, not stuck yeah. directly. But if you have a shower caddy or anything like that, it's great. The sound quality for being just this little, you know, white dorky speaker is good. That's great. They're, I mean, what are you looking for in a shower? Really? Right. And it connects to my phone so quickly. Oh, that's nice. I don't know why this is like immediate. Yeah, I kind of wish that this was as instant as this is yeah. when it comes to connecting to the Bluetooth. I just feel like I open my phone and it's like, bloop, 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 SoundCloud, it's ready. 
SoundCloud? SoundBot. SoundBot. I have no complaints. That's amazing. I have no complaints. I just, like, I didn't need some fancy fucking Bose stereo system surround sound in no. my shower. But, you know, sometimes I just want to, you know, shower dance. If you've watched any of our other videos, mm -hmm. you know that I'm a very cold individual. She's not, always cold. Not personality-wise. I okay. find myself to be warm. Don't fucking try me. <laughs> warm. So You're all warm. that warmth? I'm so warm. Don't fucking try me. <laughs> I hate being cold, but I want to be outside, even in the winter time, even in the fall. I just want to be outside because we're allowed to do that right now. <laughs> right. It's our it's our vacation. It's our vacation. And I also do a lot of camping. And this year, in particular, I did more cold weather camping than I ever have. And so I was like, I am not playing games. I am going into this cold weather campaign thing with guns blazing. I am ready. <laughs> so I knew I wanted to get some hot hands, but I was like, I, they've got to make things for your feet and body too. And they do. So hot hands makes a variety of sizes and pads that can go anywhere on your body. So I have the variety pack here. It has hot hands, so you can put them in your pocket. It has hot feet, which are sticky things that you peel one side off of and you stick it to the bottom of your sock and it keeps your feet warm and then you could put it into a shoe oh so it sticks on there and it's very thin so it doesn't add any bulk to your shoe <laughs> and then they also have a body one which is called the body and hand super warmer and it's bigger than the normal hot hand size so here's what i did you're not supposed to sleep with these because you can burn yourself on accident. You can burn yourself, but I was like, it is 30 degrees and I am sleeping with them. So I slept with like a Patagonia zip up with layers underneath of it. And then I put my hot hands in my pockets and I slept in my mummy bag with the hot hands in my pockets. And so the mummy bag keeps you really tight in there. You can't really thrash about. And then I took the body warmer and I laid it on my stomach. And then I had the toe warmers all the way down in the bottom of my sleeping bag on top, on like the outside of some wool socks. I could see my breath and there was frost on the tent and I slept so well. So I'm a really big believer in these. I'm sure there are other varieties and brands, but I just went with something that I knew worked. Can I tell you that I started using them at like eight o'clock at night while we were sitting around the fire pit so that I could be warm as I got into bed. Mm -hmm. And when I woke up the next morning and when we packed up and left, I still had the ones in my pockets. So it was like, I don't know, 14 hours and they were still warm. Wow. So they lasted a really long time. I think they say eight hours. Oh, 10 hours, eight hours and 18 hours for the super one. Wow. I know I highly recommend them for if you are like outdoor athletic events. Yes. Like games. as you're a spectator. Uh -huh. I use them a lot at Ravens games because mm -hmm. they're super helpful. I hate a hangnail and I hate dry cuticle skin. Me too. So much. And it's one of those things that if I have like a rough or uneven fingernail, I really can't focus on anything else until I take care of it. She can't. He's like, she doesn't know that. She can't. I can't. Do you have a nail file? Do you have a nail file? I know where they are. Constantly. I'll go get one. Constantly. Constantly. I keep I have them everywhere now. I have mini ones in my car. I have one in my desk at work. I have them all over my house at home, like in different drawers. Mm -hmm. I've never been a nail biter, but I do mm -hmm. just like pick and sometimes bite my cuticles. But I also just hate when you have that like little bit of skin that's like catching on things and you're I have one right now. Um, I can't wait to use it. Right, so I had actually been without a good pair of cuticle clippers oh. for a long time. I went to my sister's house okay. and was like, oh, do you have a nail file? <laughs> I probably asked her for like a nail file and like cuticle clippers and she, gave me these oh we were on vacation that's what it was okay she gave me these and i was like right these are super weird looking because they have a loop at the bottom instead yeah. of just like the open handles it's like a spring and it is like a spring and i they're they're tweezer men tweezer man and they are so easy to control like i just they're so good in your hand and they just feel like they give me so much more i don't know like pressure yeah can i try it yeah it, it you wouldn't even i don't even know how to describe it because it is something i've never even considered before because mine are tweezer man too and i like them oh i will say it's like an adjustment for me too because yeah. i'm i'm used to the tension yes. on mine like yeah. these don't open as far as mine yes 
if that makes any sense. Yes. So they don't open as far, but they're very sharp. They are very sharp. They have, like, I don't even feel it when I'm doing it. And But I do think that you could accidentally, like, really, you know, cut yourself if you're not careful. But I really love that, sp that way that you hold it. And for me, I was really excited because as soon as I got them and started using them, I was like, Mom, you have to get these. Because my mom has arthritis in her hands mm. really bad. And she has a hard time with squeezing and yeah. twisting. Like anything really with like control. I bet that's why these were created. Probably. So she got herself a pair and she loves them. Because you control all of it with like your palm. And they're not going to slip out because they're perfectly nestled in there. I really love them and I use them all the time now. And it's yeah. one of those things that they just... And they did cut my hangnails off. Thank right, you. there you go. That's all I'm looking for. <laughs> Efficient. This next item is also not for me, but it is for me because I use it. Mm -hmm. I have a long haired dog and he has hair and fur. So he does require grooming. Not as often as like, I don't know. What's a dog that needs a lot of grooming? I don't know, a dog that needs a lot of grooming. A Pekingese? Pomeranian? I don't know, a Cocker Spaniel? Shih Tzu. I think sure. Shih Tzus need a lot. Yeah, of grooming. <laughs> and it's like $100 in our area to get Barkley groomed. Yeah. Which is a lot of money. I oftentimes didn't love the way he looked because they really like squared off his ears and like made everything really rigid and perfect lines on his face. Mm -hmm. And that's not how he's supposed to look. He's supposed to be scruffy and fluffy and that's the way I like him to look. And it's very easy for me to give him an at-home haircut however we were only using human shears and oh. the downside with that is that they overheat and so i would have to do it in phases you hear me talking about you yeah so sweet and so it would take a really long time because i didn't want to burn him and they just like they weren't created for that type of hair. Mm -hmm. And so I found a, a set on Amazon for I think $39 that were very highly rated. The box is a mess, I'm sorry, but the brand is One Is All. And like Caitlin's headphones, I saw this exact style and color in a variety of places on Amazon, just with different names. Yep. So I took a gamble, I bought this one. It came with the most amazing shears. I cut myself the first time I used these. Wow. They are so sharp, but they create a really nice line and they're nice and pointy and delicate so that I can get the hair like out of his eyes. Mm -hmm. So I use those and I really, really appreciate that I finally have dog shears. And it is, um, it's wireless. You can use it plugged in, but you can charge it, which is really, again, another thing that I- That's really nice. Wasn't like accustomed to. Yeah, so then you, you don't have to, then you can I, I do it on my deck or in the yard right. or wherever. And you don't have to, that's nice. Have the birds take the fur away. So it also came with this really amazing metal comb that feels so good in human hair. I haven't even used it on Barkley. Mm -hmm. It's like quality. Mm -hmm. Feel these shears. Quality. I can give you an effing haircut. Hear this? Quality. Quality. And then it came with five different sized guards so that you could give your cut a haircut. Here's the other thing. Traditional human shears are loud and dogs don't like that kind of a noise. It's intimidating to them. This is not loud. That's as loud as it gets, and it works so well. I really enjoyed cutting his hair for the first time because I was able to do his entire body in 30 minutes. Wow. And normally it's like an hour and a half long process because I got to stop and wait for it to cool down, and this thing, I didn't even need to charge it. It lasted the whole time. It also has adjustments here that you can, like, you can adjust the length by millimeters and that's really nice. I can't say enough good things about it. If you two want to give your dog an at-home haircut, I really recommend this kit. I had this scarf that I had bought from Sweetles with Jane years ago that I was in love with. It smells so good. This? Yes. I don't even think it smells that good. It does. It's wafting, I smell it. So I uh, I think probably what happened, I left my favorite scarf of all my whole life at some dumb fuck's house. I'm gonna guess that's what happened. And I think I did it like the winter before. Didn't even know until I brought my stuff out for winter and didn't have it. Searching for a replacement, I found this one on Amazon. It, it has like, I don't know, seven different colors. It's extremely soft and it is. it's massive. That's the big thing for me. It's like a that, shawl. Yes, like I want to have this much fabric. Like, like it's a, like two feet wide. Right, like I want like a full, I want to look like Lenny Kravitz with yes. that blanket that he had tied around his neck and called it a scarf. 
Um, I love that they put this little suede tag here. That elevates yeah. it so much. Yeah, a little, I don't what does it say? But it's extremely soft. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, wool-like. I don't even, I don't think it is wool. No. And it's low pile. Yeah, but I like it because I've worn it a lot and uh, the pilling is not out of control at mm -hmm. all. It's really, I wouldn't even quite call it pilling yet, mm -hmm. um, which I'm very impressed by because it was very inexpensive. I really liked these, this like four tone mm -hmm. color wave that they chose. Good and then neutrals. the uh, very light herringbone pattern in the yellow and the, in well, all the ones that you need. Yeah, it's actually right. in all of them, but you just can't see it in the white but it's got this like kind of nice texture, so it's not flat. I don't know, I just think it looks more expensive than it was, and it's very comfortable, and I just feel like the colors make it so that I can wear it with almost everything. I have a an at-home spin bike. I mean, who the fuck doesn't at, in 2020 now? Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody has one. And the seats that come on these bikes are wildly uncomfortable, and make you feel as if you've just like grinded your pubic bone on like a deck railing. That's exactly what I was picturing. No, this isn't gonna work for me. We're not gonna be able to exercise if I'm in this much cooter pain. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I don't think I've said cooter in 10 years. I found a padded bike seat that slides over very snugly on the seat that I currently have and then it also like velcros in place so there's mm. no moving the seat like it's on and it's there and it's gel and it also has like ventilation and allows air circulation crotch sweat is a real thing and also Mike uses the bike so it smells like his sweaty balls all to say ball sweat is a real thing I do like occasionally Febreze it or wipe it down with like a Clorox wipe or something like that I've actually never taken it off, so I don't really know how you could sanitize it otherwise, but it could be possible. Can you put it in a washing machine? I don't think so. Oh. I don't think so, but maybe you can, and I'm just a nasty bitch, I would never try it. Mm. Because it's just me and Mike. Like, we can swap crotch sweat all day, I don't care. Right, you do that on the regs Your anyway. crotch sweat is my crotch sweat. It has significantly improved my exercise routine and I will say, even with that one, you're still gonna be a little bit uncomfortable because you're on a surface all of your weight is like bearing down on your pubic region. Mm -hmm. And so you have to get used to that and you have to get acclimated. And I will say it was a thousand percent better than the hard seat that they give you. There's no give to it. It's just mm -hmm. like plastic, hard fucking plastic. Yikes. Ouchie. Yeah. I'm trying to treat that area nice. Right. Pamper her. If anything, right. you know, we want our immaculate labia. So if you, like me, want to live rich, but own a cheap refrigerator. Have you ever lived with a Brita filter? Like an actual, like the jug? Yes. It's a pain in the ass. It, it is. It runs out so quickly and just the whole- It takes forever to purify that water. Yes. Uh, and you have to soak the charcoal filter. Oh, it's a hot fucking mess. Anyway, so when we got, when we, our refrigerator took a dump and we had to get a new one, our landlord bought a new one, but she, you know, she didn't buy like a really high end one. She bought the least expensive one. So it has no, water filter uh does make ice so i mean so we did a little bit of research and i found this like brita slim nice so it's very long uh but it's extra thin i mean it's not even really much wider than oh i thought you saw that orange juice like a, a carton of milk it actually filters it right as you pour it that's nice yeah and so the spout oh, that's really nice the spout you can either you know just push it and the water comes out or you can push it and let it sit there and then it fills nice so occasionally I can actually just like put my cup like sort of in our in our refrigerator flip it do some stuff come back water's full flip it off right um, it's really nice it does light up here uh, green when the filter is good to go red when it's getting low and you need to replace it um, I did knowledge I know is that crazy yeah uh, it did kind of bug me that the filters are different. I get why they're different because it's different technology, but it stinks because I had bought like a Costco size uh, box of regular Brita filters and then now I just sell them on Cat Neighbors. Oh, you're right, I should. But I've been really happy with this. I love that it has the handle at the front. Mm -hmm. It has like a little door that you can open and fill in. Nice, so you don't have to take it out to fill it. You don't have to, we do because yeah. it's easier because I actually just like to take like, fill it from straight from the sink faucet and like not have to fill it with cups. That's true. Um, and then you can also remove the entire 
lid for cleaning or any other reason for, that you would want. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I guess the next thing to test out is to put cheap vodka in it and see if I can make it fancier. Totally. I've heard that rumor, but I don't know if it's true. Really? Yeah, that you can use a Brita because it's charcoal filtering, that you can make a cheap vodka taste slightly less cheap because you filter out additional impurities. Wow. Okay, my last item is a pair of leggings. And I am a really big fan of the Lululemon Align legging. They're mm -hmm. buttery soft, really pliable. They describe it as like a naked hug for your body. Yes. And while I want to be sucked and tucked, I don't want to feel compressed all of the time because that's uncomfortable. So I have like really kind of made it one of my life's missions to find a dupe uh -huh. because they're a hundred dollars. And I have two pairs, but I cannot justify any more. And I didn't buy any of them, so. <laughs> uh, so I found a few leggings on Amazon that I really like, and they have really nice like compression capabilities. But these leggings have everything I want out of my Align leggings, and in fact, I'm reaching for these more because they're blacker and less faded than my Lululemon. Oh, ones. okay, yeah. But I will. Um, I'll leave the brand below. But I will say, like. Oh, they're, I love that wide band. At they're the top. very. I have a camel toe, but they're very high waisted mm -hmm. and comfortable. They like they don't cut in, but I still feel like mm -hmm. it's smoothing. Is that your hip? Or yes, your hip? my hip. Yeah. Um, but I really like them, and they pass the test. Like you can bend over, you can squat down, you can have someone walk behind you upstairs, and they're not going to see anything. Mm -hmm. And they're really long. That's the other thing. Like I have not like long legs so long that I would have to wear a tall but I feel like leggings sometimes end like right here and I hate it mm -hmm. and these come down like all the way over my ankle $27.99 wow $27.99 I'm in love with them I got a medium and I don't dry them just like I don't dry my lululemons mm. and there's been no killing I was gonna say I also None. noticed that they make this like extra thigh panel. It's reinforced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had no pilling, and I've been wearing these consistently for over a month. Yeah, that's amazing. No pilling at all. You want to touch it? Oh yeah, very soft. Well, I think the only difference really is that the stitching is much more prominent on yes. these than on a Lululemon. Yes, but it's only on the inside. It's not on the outside of your leg. So, mm -hmm. highly recommend. Best mm. leggings I've found on Amazon, hands down. Like they make fun patterns. They have a leopard one. I want to get. Don't know why. If you follow us on Instagram, you may know that I had decided to start waxing my own vagina. So I bought some items from a company called... Waxy. Thank you, Waxy. And I greatly enjoyed those products, but the one really big downside to it was I had used a silicone cup to heat the wax in the microwave. And then of course, I'm not waxing myself in the kitchen, in the kitchen or anywhere wow. near a microwave. So I was having to reheat the wax multiple times during the process and like, that's just not convenient like no you're were you putting a robe on and running down the stairs yes yes and like the, it's just that's no work. you don't mm -mm. it's not a good scene so um, I decided to go ahead and just take a look to see how much a wax worm was I, for some reason in my mind I assumed that they were expensive because they would mostly be used by like professional estheticians mm -hmm. but I went on Amazon and I found one that was very reasonably priced it's called the Kotamu Mm -hmm. It is a hard waxing kit. So this is for hard wax specifically. This came with, and I didn't even know some of this stuff. It came with a before pre-wax mm -hmm. treatment spray, after wax treatment spray. Didn't bother using these, but I would try them. It came with four, what? Four different packs of hard wax. You haven't tried these. I haven't tried these yet. I don't oh think. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't think they're scented or anything. I think they're just different colors. Uh, it came with a full set of like 10 of the large tongue depressors, which is at least, that's like multiple uses. You really don't need a ton of tongue I'm depressors. I'm so amazed right now. It came with like the little popsicle stick size that's great for like maybe more like facial waxing. This was my favorite thing because I wondered about this. So these oh, are shields. Like a drip guard? For the top of your for the top of the wax unit so that it doesn't like drip all over it. This is the little... Get Beast out. herself. This little wax warmer. I can't believe all this stuff came with it. Yeah. Um, and I'm amazed. So this does have my like the wax I previously used in it because you can just let it harden in there and then turn it back on and reuse it. You can. 
Yeah. Because it's for you. Yeah. Can yes. It? If it was for a client, you could not reuse it. Oh, that it should does. smell like gingerbread. It does. Yeah. I was going to say it smells cinnamony. It's gingerbread, yeah. So I really loved this. So like, for example, the wax guards, if you don't use them, you would very easily drip wax like all over the top of this. I will say the one thing that I did specifically look for on the recommendation of the internet is that you purchase one that doesn't just have like a low medium high but actually has temperature degrees mm -hmm. so i did really like that and then i i do believe it also has an auto shut off which i like this is cool yeah yeah so it just made everything so convenient uh and then it has a little lid so that while it's heating up you can protect it from like dust or who knows what else uh -oh. broke it ruined it this is like a baby crock pot yes you could put cheese dip in here. I could. I could go get a separate bowl and just make queso and just That's keep what it, I would do. Keep it heated on my nightstand. I bought myself. Actually, a I would die. Bedroom queso maker. I would, I would laugh forever. I mean, that sounds like everything I want right now. Honestly, I, really want I could cheese. Oh god, I would love cheese. I will say, yeah, if you were into maybe trying to wax yourself to any degree, I would go ahead and just buy this kit. Nice. Yeah, I, that, I just, it seemed really ridiculous and I don't like storing yeah. extra crap, but it's worth it. Yeah. I feel like this is one of my favorite Amazon videos we did because these things weren't like frivolous, unnecessary needs. None of like, these were impulse purchases. Right, like I had a genuine need for all of these things and well, so did you. Well, except maybe this. This, this well, one was like a little silly, but honestly, like kind of not really. No, kind of not really. Oh, that was fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss out on our new videos. If it's your thing, what's your favorite Christmas song? I just asked Mike this the other day. Did you? Yeah. I, I feel like I actually, there's one that I always forget that I really love. Yeah. But I, Stevie Wonder does like a Merry Christmas that I really love. I do like Whams. Oh, this Christmas I gave you my heart. Yeah. The very next day you took it away. I like can't help. I just love it. But um, anything by the Ronettes or Darlene Love. Yeah, I'm, I'm big into them. She's who I, um, if I do like Pandora Christmas, I always do like the Ronettes Christmas because it mixes in like Jackson 5, there's Stevie Wonder in it. One of my favorite is All I Want for Christmas is You, but not Mariah Carey. The lyrics are even different, and it's by Vince Vance and the Valiants. Uh-huh. I don't need expensive things. things. Oh, I know exactly which one you're talking about. They don't matter to me. And then also Love Forever and Ever, Brenda Lee rocking around the Christmas oh, tree. Oh, duh. Like, right? you can't like, not. But pretty much the whole Home Alone soundtrack. Yes. The song that makes me, like, most emotional <laughs> would be Carol of the Bells. <gasps> but the one, like, the... That scene in Home Alone. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you watch our last video. Watch that next video. Go ahead and watch all the videos. Yay! I mean, that in that mood today. I don't know. We love you guys. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. We always appreciate it. And thank you so much for anyone who made a donation to the Arthritis Foundation. We raised a thousand dollars, which I'm so proud of. I'm very proud of that. So totally. thank you. Yes. And cut it.